Hey, hey, everybody. Welcome back to Type 1 Diabetic Warriors. My name is Jim. Today, we're going to talk about C-peptide. Now, you may be familiar with that term. The C-peptide test is indeed a test that your doctor may have used to determine that you were a Type 1 diabetic. Well, there's more to the story, and apparently, the medical community feels that there may be a use for C-peptide therapy in regenerating beta cells in a newly diagnosed diabetic. We've got all the answers, we did the research, and we're going to present that to you today. First, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. We do appreciate your support in helping our channel to grow and reach more people. So let's get down to it and find out more about C-peptide therapy. What is C-peptide and how does it affect type 1 diabetics? Insulin deficiency is associated with C-peptide deficiency in type 1 diabetes due to beta cell demise. A fasting C-peptide level of less than 0.6 ml is consistent with beta cell failure and predicts the requirement for insulin therapy. C-peptide therapy is a treatment option primarily for individuals with type 1 diabetes. It involves the administration of synthetic C-peptide, a molecule that is normally produced along with insulin in the pancreas. When insulin is produced, it is initially synthesized as a precursor molecule called proinsulin, which consists of insulin and C-peptide. C-peptide is then cleaved off before the release of insulin into the bloodstream. Research has shown that C-peptide plays several important roles in the body, including improving microvascular blood flow, reducing nerve damage, and potentially preserving kidney function. In individuals with type 1 diabetes, C-peptide levels are typically low or absent due to the destruction of insulin-producing beta cells in the pancreas. As a result, these individuals may experience complications related to insufficient C-peptide. C-peptide therapy aims to supplement these low levels by administering synthetic C-peptide via injection. By restoring C-peptide levels to a more normal range, the therapy may help improve certain complications associated with type 1 diabetes, such as neuropathy, nerve damage, and nephropathy, kidney damage. Additionally, some studies suggest that C-peptide therapy may improve overall glycemic control and reduce the risk of hypoglycemia, low blood sugar, in individuals with type 1 diabetes. However, it's essential to note that C-peptide therapy is not a substitute for insulin therapy in individuals with type 1 diabetes. Insulin remains the cornerstone of treatment for managing blood sugar levels in these individuals. C-peptide therapy is typically used as an adjunctive treatment to help address specific complications associated with low C-peptide levels. So, what have been the results of testing C-peptide as a therapy for type 1 diabetes? Let's have a look at some findings from the National Institutes of Health. First, would you help us by tapping the like and subscribe buttons? We appreciate your support. Now according to studies reported in The Lancet, the focus of NIH studies was to see if there is a connection between C-peptide augmentation to stimulate beta cell development in recently diagnosed type 1 diabetics to increase insulin production versus taking insulin alone. As was stated in the Lancet article, in summary, we have provided strong evidence that interventions that preserve beta cell function are effective at improving metabolic outcomes in new onset type 1 diabetes. Furthermore, we have quantified this relationship by showing that improvements in HbA1c are directly proportional to the degree of C-peptide preservation, supporting the use of C-peptide as a surrogate endpoint in clinical trials. Optimal metabolic control remains an unmet need in type 1 diabetes. The evidence presented here supports consideration of an alternative approach to address this, focusing on the treatment of the disease, autoimmune destruction of beta cells, rather than relying on insulin to treat the resulting disability, insulin deficiency. So, in essence, while C-peptide augmentation to preserve the degree of C-peptide in the pancreas is feasible and showed some success in slightly reducing the HbA1c in the target group, the opinion of the NIH is that it won't be an insulin replacement. If this avenue is pursued as a potential therapy, it will require more money, research, and more time to develop a potential solution to the challenge of curing type 1 diabetes. Okay, well, kind of a mixed bag there. Um... I would say if money were infinite, yeah, more research should be done on peptide therapy, but there are many more promising therapies now. 
that I believe are going to get us to the finish line, ultimately a type one diabetic cure sooner than later. Thanks for being with us today. We will have another video for you real soon on all things diabetic. Until then, you make sure you take care of those blood sugars. That's the most important thing that you and I can do to stay healthy. In the meantime, we'll talk to you again real soon. Have a great day. Bye-bye.